We have to digitize Keanu's essence. Action! I think we could do all of Keanu Reeves in a day. If Keanu's not right, video doesn't work. And I feel Keanu Reeves. I'm, I'm such a big fan of Keanu Reeves, man. Like, I, I've loved him since Speed. That was an awesome movie. And of course, The Matrix. I mean, he is the one. There's all these articles about how nice Keanu Reeves is. Keanu gives all of his money away. Keanu takes the time to hang out with homeless people. And I think the world needs more people like Keanu Reeves. You guys remember the Tom Cruise video, right? We had a Tom Cruise impersonator come in, do his thing, and we put a Tom Cruise deepfake over his face, right? The result was jaw-dropping. Nico learned about the technology in the Tom Cruise video, and I thought, well, how funny would it be if Keanu Reeves stopped an armed robbery with kindness? So look, if I can't work with Keanu right now, I think this is the next best thing. We have to digitize Keanu's essence. So we gotta run a test. We gotta see if we can put Keanu Reeves' face on my body. Just see if it works. So we're doing this Keanu Reeves thing and Clint's like, no, no, let's do a real test. I got a wig, I'll put a suit on. So we did, and it's the goofiest looking thing. <laughs> so I mean, Keanu Reeves? How, how you doing? Hey, hey. wow, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wig, man. It's, kind of like this, like... it's very strange. It looks a little better than I thought it would. Like, with so few iterations, too, you know? He, like, definitely, like, he, he bends his hands, like, all the way back. <laughs> Full palm, you know? And he's constantly trying to open those pickle jars. <laughs> <laughs> It's like each time you smile as Keanu Reeves, you have to like suppress it, yeah. you know? The wig makes it look like off his meds or something like that. Like, <laughs> kind of loopy and lost it. He's like, ugh. Left forehead. Is this better? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to make this video. You may have seen our Tom Cruise deepfake video, which we titled, The Best Deepfake on the Internet. It looked great, but if you look closely, you could tell it was a deepfake. It wasn't perfect, but we learned a lot. And now for this Keanu Reeves video, it's time to put that training to use and make this one perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. Lesson one, Keanu Reeves has long black hair. So we get to frame the entire face with just black. But Keanu Reeves has a widow peak and it's hard to find wigs that have widow peaks that look good. So we're wearing a baseball cap. Those two things alone frame the face very nicely. Lesson two, so we're going to light this scene in a way that gives us flat underneath lighting. So we're not getting a lot of shadow on the face. We're not getting really direct solid lighting. We're not getting crisp shadows that has to be recreated. The bill of the hat casts a shadow on the face. We're just gonna get some nice, even underlight. Lighting. Lesson three, profile shots. The deep fake can kind of do profile shots, but the problem is if somebody else's nose is bigger than say your actor's nose, it can be putting on to the face. Well, you're just gonna have another big nose sticking out below their nose and that's a problem. So we need to plan the scene in such a way to never have the issue where they're looking sideways. Lesson four, deep fakes are really only 128 by 128 pixels. In the screen here of 1080p, that square is only this big. The problem is, you can't film any close-ups. What we're doing right now, you can't do that with a deep fake because it would look really blurry. But we don't have to worry about that if we film it on a cell phone. We're gonna film the whole thing like it's found footage on a cell phone and we're gonna film it vertical. So that's gonna let us keep the face tinier in the frame. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna teach our AI a much better face compared to the Tom Cruise one. I think I trained the Tom Cruise face for like 100,000 iterations, meaning that it's running a calculation over and over and over and over and over again, and it did that 100,000 times. I thought that was great. I thought that was enough. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> we're going to be giving it a really good Keanu Reeves data set with a lot of different examples of his face from a lot of different angles. And I have been training this Keanu Reeves deepfake model for like 10, days straight. But boy, is it satisfying seeing those faces just crisp up nicely. We had a great response to the Boston Dynamics video when that came out. And we want to do the same with this one. We need to strike while the iron's hot. It's important that this video comes out in a timely manner because if we wait too long, all that hard work goes to waste. The problem is, we kind of like to be perfectionists here, especially Clint. So I need to sit down with the team and we gotta talk about this. We gotta make sure it's going to look as good as it can look, but that it's also gonna come out when it needs to come out. There's a ticking time bomb on this video. E3 was when all the Keanu love came back. <laughs> You're breathtaking! And right now it's the end of June. We just released a deepfake video about a week ago. If we want to follow suit with the success we've had over the last two months, basically we have two to three weeks to release the video. If you're telling me that Wednesday's the day, then that's what it is. If we wait any longer, there's no point in even making the video, and I think it's a great video and we should make it. I know that by Wednesday, we can make it happen and we'll be doing the best with what we got. We've done more with less in the past. We, we know it can be a success. The clock is ticking. All right, Wednesday it is. What was that meeting about, dude? Film this video or we don't film it at all. 
We don't have an actor, but we need someone who can impersonate Keanu Reeves. I still think there's something to be said about getting a look-like actor and then dubbing it after with someone who can do the voice. That's like plan C. Jake, what are, you, what are you working on, man? Have I told you about my shallow fakes? So these deep fakes are pretty sweet, right? But something that I've been doing, it's called shallow fakes. Whoa! Ho -ho! Now, I might look like Keanu Reeves, right? You might be buying it, but I'm taking it to the next level by t using this piece of tape right here, okay? Keanu Reeves is one of the nicest guys known to the world. And we've got these wonderful, wonderful patrons out there. And that made me want to go out and do something nice for everyone in the studio. Let me show you what I mean. Hey, Nick. Hey. I just wanted to do something nice for you because our patrons do such hey, nice hey, things for wait, us. Wait, wait, don't, don't knock that over. Have you heard of Astro Gigi or Awi Abu Bakr? Have you heard of Philip Oxford or uh, Alan Almanza? Warmaster236. Did he tell you yeah, to do yeah, all he this? He told me to do all this. Okay. I also, Matt, he said to clean your keyboard for you. Oh, here, dude. <laughs> dude, you're gonna quit my phone. Oh my god. Dude. Wait, did I actually? Thank you, Keanu. Hey, are you Peter France? It's me, Keanu. Oh my, it's great to meet you. Oh. Have you heard of Will Robertson? Our patrons. Yeah. Or Eddie Adolf, he's one of our oh. patrons too. Hey, have you heard of Not a Canadian Spy? My favorite person on he's the planet, been, actually. Oh, it looks like your phone could use a little. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Ren, have you heard of Arenio Guerrero Jr. or Mitch Plensky? They, they, they do something nice for everyone in the studio. Yeah, let me do something nice for you. you okay. Steal my money? That's real. It's, it's me, what is, Keanu. What is this, what is this, Keanu? Have you heard of Glitch Cube? Yeah. James Bailey, they've got some smudges on it. <laughs> Looks like Christian's not here, but I'm gonna tell him about Brian Antojic and Raymond Debod because they're also two great patrons. Okay, what's this? Okay, what's that? Okay. So, so if you guys are interested in, in supporting everything that uh, they do in this studio, consider Patreon. It supports all of these videos. Me, nice guy, Keanu Reeves. I just, I gotta go. Um, I gotta go, got some things to do. All right. I, I was at my wit's end. We, we scoured the internet. We scoured the internet for anyone who looked like Keanu Reeves. I was like, it has to be right. If Keanu is not right, the video doesn't work. And I failed Keanu Reeves. I was scrolling through Facebook and I found the only person who I know of that can pull this off. Clint just called me up and said, hey, I want you to be Keanu Reeves. And I said, okay, I can try that. <laughs> Ruben's a voice actor. He's a stunt man. He is 5'11". We'll see if it works. So fun. What are you doing here? Look at these habanero cracklings, huh? We got Keanu Reeves here today. There he is. Anyone that Keanu interacts with, it's gonna change their soul. It's like Jesus. Generally speaking, the only rules we have to really follow is avoid doing profile. We also want to avoid obstructions in front of his face, but as long as you can see the camera and I can see your eyebrows from the camera, it's fine. I'm, 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 just, I'm ready to freaking get the ball rolling. Here we go. Action! Come on! We still have this stunt. Hopefully Clint can push us through this. The flip, guys, let's rehearse. If any shot's going to like be a hard one, this is it. I'm a little worried about this because he's gonna be like bent over and he's gonna be doing a lot of moving. Like he's got a lot of hair wiggling in his face and I just, that might be a bit of an issue with the deep fake. I hope Brett doesn't hurt himself. Three, two, one, action. No! Oh. Brett? Yeah, we're good. Good? Good. Got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, it's okay. One more time. It would have less than an hour to finish the day. <laughs> So it's Monday, a week after the shoot, and we're finally looking at the final edit here. I think it feels pretty good. Dude, oh my god, is that Keanu Reeves? He's the nicest guy, dude, go, come on! Go. Dude, get come the fuck out of here! Go, go, go! Get back! Get back! Hey, back up! Stop it, bitch! Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your car? I thought the edit was pretty solid. From the deep fake territory here, um... 
That's, this is gonna be a little challenging. That hair in front of his face, I'm a little worried about. So see if there's maybe one other take where the hair is not hanging. I'm not saying we need to change it right now. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying be aware that this one might become an issue okay. as well. The performance was really solid. We were thinking that we're gonna have to do ADR, which is your voice replacement for the actor down the line. But he sounds a lot like Keanu on set. There's no way we can communicate effectively when you have guns pointed at each other's heads. I mean, Ruben, he's a voice actor. He did the voice for Ken in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Bring it on! You know, he's got, he's got some chops. So the next step here is Clint needs to lock the edit. He needs to export all the clips that are going to have the deep fakes on it. We need to take those image sequences. We need to extract the faces from all of them. We need to check the alignment on the faces, making sure that the eyes are exactly on the eyes, the mouth is exactly on the mouth. Otherwise, the face will jump around. Train the algorithm now on the final images, and then export all of it. What's up, son? What are you working on over here? I have a new mustache, did you guys notice? Blonde, so you might not, but whatever. If you'll take a look. We don't want to hurt Brett, so we have to do this as an effect, unfortunately, because it's nice to do things practical, but when Brett's involved, we gotta keep him safe. We've already heard him in a previous video. Didn't want to do that again. We have the background plate right here. There's still a bunch of pieces of his head that are there, you know, that would be in the background behind the spinning head, so we gotta take those out. Remove Brett's head from the shot, and then, we added in this shot of Brett doing a little spinny spin. <laughs> if you want to take this clip and animate it into a music video of sorts and then upload it, um, please tweet it at me. And so basically what I did was I isolated his head and stabilized the footage to his head. So we can take that, we can superimpose it onto the shot. To merge these two shots together, I had to find frames where the faces in each shot lined up roughly. We have normal Brett face right here, and then bloop, and we're good to go. Pretty simple effect actually, but very effective. An effective effect. All right, Nico, I have the final cut of the Keanu video. I can export some final frames for you. Will you be able to do some stuff overnight? Uh, it's been a long day, Clint. I mean, the thing is I could keep baking it, but honestly, at this point, I'm like 230,000 iterations into this bake, and it looks about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> this should be a concern of mine, considering all the other costs of the studio, but it costs 50 cents for every hour that I'm running this GPU. Really? Yeah. I've been running deep fake crunches around the clock for two weeks now. Three weeks, right? Three times seven times 24 times 0.5. We spent $250 on deep fakes. <laughs> wow, dude. If we're not doing any Keanu baking tonight, then that gives us literally two days to do all of it. Do you think that's possible? We have to fix the Scorpion King tomorrow also. Fix the Scorpion King, we have to friggin' fix Scorpion King. I think we could do all of Keanu Reeves in a day. Yo. I got it. My new computer! Puget Puget Systems! Thank you. Uh, Nick, give a knife. Oh my god, I can finally That's render awesome. four times faster now. It's gonna help me do this Keanu deep fake a lot faster. It's gonna help us make this deadline. Dude, the, my, my octane renders are gonna go so fast. <laughs> What's in this thing? D two video cards? RTX cards? It is a 2080 Ti. Oh man. Dude, it smells like a new car in here. Holy crap. I can I can bake some deep fakes and render out of Cinema 4D and Octane at the same exact time. You guys watching this video right now who know anything about computers, you're, you're probably screaming. I, I plug my hard drive into the motherboard, right? I got my, this is like my stress thing right now, because literally today's third, like midway through Thursday. I only have Friday to finish this video, so I am hoping I can get all of these deep fakes done by the end of the day. Program called Face Swap. Nico turned me on to this program. He gave me a little tutorial how to use it and how to harness its power, its true power. I'm cranking through. We got 13 shots of Ruben to deep fake Keanu Reeves onto. 
The shots get longer and longer as the video goes on. Once it's out of face swap, it has to be composited in After Effects. So we're really kind of uh, crunched for time here. I'm eager to get working on the face swap stuff, but I still have a big list of things to, to do, which is just how things go here sometimes. It's halfway through the day and you haven't started face swapping yet. I'll get there. I'm using my computer and Nico's computer to uh, make this deadline. Well, I'm actually training on my computer and then I'm setting up all the other shots on Nico's computer. Thank goodness to Puget is saving me some time. <laughs> you got it. Two thousand iterations is just what I need. Why two thousand? That's basically like, it's getting more crystal clear the more iterations you have. And 2,000 iterations for like a wide medium shot, that's gonna be just right. But for the close up, shot 13, uh -huh. dude, we're gonna need like 15,000 iterations. This will take a couple hours. Damn. But luckily, Nico's pre trained this model to the moon and back. So, we'll be, we're, we're in safe hands. Those nostrils. Look at those. Dude, you got nothing on me, so. Here. Huge, dude. I don't know why I'm being weird. <laughs> yes, we're on the home stretch right now. Today's Friday. Video goes out tomorrow. I'd say we're like a little over halfway. Me, Peter, and um, Nico are comping everything together. Sam is mixing together sound, and we're all on it. We're all having a good time. Isn't that right, Peter? Yeah, man. For compositing the faces, it's pretty easy. We have this really cool idea, actually, and Peter had nothing to do with it. <laughs> All we have to do is add grain and compression. Because it's iPhone footage, it's garbage, so we gotta make him look like garbage, even though he's a very handsome man. Nico, you eight. just wanna wrap out 13. Um, oh yeah. Cool. Alright, that's Nico. And then, uh, <laughs> so shot 13 is 32 seconds long. We had to do manual face alignments for it for the first time, and it's looking pretty good. Shot 13. I think, I think that's pretty good. It's really weird. It's like I'm generating a new face that's not our original actor. It's not quite Keanu, it's like in between. But it's better than nothing. It's better than really blurry and obviously fake. I'm just super impressed by these programs. Five and six are done. <clears throat> we were being daring when we said we were gonna have all the effects done in like one or two days. Turns out it's happening. Here's seven. We're at like 85% right now. Super slow. So yeah, once you guys are done with that and your computers are free after an hour long render, then we'll, we'll knock it out. I think we're gonna be able to get a beer and a Smash Bros. duel in. I think it's gonna be one of those Fridays, so. Dean, watch this. That leaves one more shot. Nico's working on it now. <laughs> Waiting on me now. This is the last thing. It's going out right now. Clint, it's ready. Put it in. I did. It's out. Every, all the files are in. Theoretically, everything's finished. Okay. Oh! No! <laughs> can't be. So you see, you can't be dead. Now get up. No, no, we're good, we're good. All right, here. Yo. It's anyone that Keanu interacts with, it's gonna change their soul. It's like Jesus. Woo! Way too good. Four and a half. Cheers. Get ready to see a million copycats of this. I'm also kind of worried that like Keanu's not gonna be chill with this. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Keanu, don't hurt me, please. Keanu, if you're watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm rendering. The switch is coming out. Beer is here. The switch is in hand, guys. Man. Dean, we're missing you, dude. So. I want to give a shout out to the face swap devs. They've been helping me learn a lot about deep fakes and the algorithms. You guys can find face swap, one of the programs we use, on GitHub. Thank you so much. All right, three, two, one, action. <laughs> <laughs>